Welcome back to Space Engineers with Monkey B. In this episode, we're going to set up the cargo room and set up the corridors and connect conveyor system to connect it all together. Uh, but first, I'm going to create myself a sign that uh, so I can put in what jobs need to be done. So, this is the list of jobs that I've got to do. Cargo room, refinery assembly room, conveyor system, corridors, maintenance bay, battery room, med bay, large ship hangar, the Drake, the interplanetary spaceship I want to build, a defense against the meteorites, especially after I start building the large hangar, and a gunship to fly around here. There'll be probably more added to this as time goes on, but uh, that's what we've got so far. So the first thing you do, I'm going to start working on the, the cargo room. Cargo room is going to go over here. And it's just going to come out from uh, underneath there and pretty much be in this space right here next to this old, what's left of this old uh, lander. Ooh. Looks like I've got some damage over here. Let's go and have a look and see what's happened. Looks like my battery is pretty low on this one. I'll have to bring the Argo over bring the Argo over and uh, give him a charge but let me just have a quick see what the battery it's still a five full day so I've got a few a little bit to get time to get it sorted back to this uh, maintenance bay so it's pretty much going to go right in here next to the maintenance bay, sorry the cargo room and it's going to contain one large one large cargo container. I don't like having lots of different containers to connect to. So I'm going to build that and get back to you in a moment. So this is the cargo room currently. Now I'm going to have it enclosed at the bottom 
with just the walkway in and a little bit of a walkway out to go over to this unit so and I want a set of uh, catwalks around it so I'm going to have to move this lander at some stage but uh, not yet Beautiful meteor storm. And I ran out of fuel. Typical. Running out of fuel in a beautiful time like that. I'll just go up to the med bay here. I like this cinematic sort of view. What am I doing? Stupid me. I haven't got that connected yet. Okay, this is coming along. Damn you, guns. I was trying to talk. Okay, this is uh, coming along. So there's the connectors coming across. There's going to be, like I said, some catwalks around this, uh, this uh, storage container. Well, that little weird U is there. That's going to come across back into underneath here and come into a junction here and there will be a whole pile of connectors and sorters going in there uh, as well as a set of stairs that I'm going to put in in a minute. But until then I've got to make some components to finish building all this. Be back shortly. I'd stop and uh, show you the beautiful sunrise over the mountains in the background. Let's uh, turn around and see the rest of the base. And I've started welding some of the uh, plates in there. Look at that. Got a lighting glitch. Just like the black magic camera with the sunspot. Out of a bit of a uh, doggy attack over here and uh, broke some of the blocks and uh, I've painted underneath the container yellow I'm gonna have a dark out walk in fact I might even paint this black oh yeah I'm liking that had to pull some blocks away so I could Access it to paint. Oops, don't want you being black, but 
Yes, you can't uh, paint underneath when there's something on top of it that won't allow you to put the block. Bit of a uh, problem, but uh, I can work around it. Okay. So, to finish this side of the wall off, I need to move this unit. And I've actually decided up that I'm going to move it slightly over. And that's going to be... I guess you can down here. This is going to be like a tribute to the lander. So I just want to move it over so I can uh, still have it, but it's going to be a tribute. And I may have to put some bigger thrusters on the Argo, because I'm not sure if it'll pick this up in one big, big, uh, this one big monstrosity. But uh, we'll give it a go. But until then, this is the cargo room. Uh, there we go. Go away, meteorite storm inbound. There we go. So this is the uh, cargo room as it's so far. It's going to blend in a little bit with this section over here. I actually plan on trying to have a narrow walkway through these two uh, areas. But uh, if not, if that's okay. And uh, I accidentally painted a couple of these tubes black, which don't look too bad. But uh, now I've just got to get some more bits to finish up this component, and uh, and I want to try to get it connected to these two units. Displays, computers. Display, computer. Phoebe Motors! Now, I think I'm going to start some remodeling over here so I can get this connect, uh, connected to the refinery and over to the assembler and then uh, then I'll then start moving some more adding some more walls One thing I do want to do so I want to do a little bit of colouring. I like my yellow. Good. Been wanting to put this uh, band of yellow in because this is going to still come up a bit higher, heading towards the uh, top of that uh, connector there. Oh, check out the height of that dog. Whew. That was one phenomenal shot. Let's, let's get some freebies. Computers. And let's go up. around here somewhere. Invisible dog.
It's like the dead dog wasn't actually dead. Okay, I'm now up to migrating all my stuff from the small cargo container to the big one. Okay, I've just connected up the conveyor system to the ship and to the old small um, cargo container and so mainly because I wanted to move them all the stuff into the big one and doing it by running was slow. So, let's go large container, small, small So there we go, I've got uh, them all joined up. I'm going to get some stuff into the production now. I'm going to queue things up. I want to uh, go a bit over a thousand of them. Large steel, 800, small. A thousand power cells, don't need them yet. Don't need motors at the moment. Internals, get a thousand of them queued. And steel plates, get another thousand of them going. Life is a lot easier, better when you've got all that uh, material for you. So now I've got those two connected. I haven't got the uh, med bay connected, but that's okay. It's not going to stay here for too much longer. But uh, it'll have its own little room, probably out here somewhere. And uh, then I'll be building probably right out here the Drake large ship hangar that'll be right out there so I can build the Drake and I'll have to probably build some uh, defenses against the meteorites so that's probably going to be some rocket guns uh, I'd assume I'm going to need rocket guns to knock them down look at that slightly curved just like a plasma TV ah, LCD TV So, hmm. gonna look at building some walkways now. This may change a little bit shortly, but uh, for the moment, that's what it's gonna be. Okay, there's my walkway up and down.
Okay, so, just to catch you up, I've uh, added a ramp. Goes up around the back of the uh, large connector. I can also access here through it. I'm not going to weld these up. These are scaffolding, so they're meant to look like that. And I walk through. Then this will all be enclosed. Which I'm going to do a little bit of that now. This is uh, getting close to the end of the episode. In fact, it is the end. So let's just have a quick look. We'll take a walk around the uh, base. We've got uh, a new shipping container in. And I've got uh, a couple of walkways around here. And this one down this way. And I've done a bit of work around here. Build up a, a wall. Help protect me from the doggies. Still a bit of work to do because I need to move this old lander gear out. It's going to be moved over there a little bit more. So if we just let's just do a quick fly up and look around the base, get an idea of how much is going on. We have come to an end of another episode. We've uh, got our storage going. We've got uh, a few jobs left on the board to do. And uh, the guns are taking out some doggies just before the end of the episode. So, so like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.